Hi, I'm Chris from Northern Brewer, and today I'm going to show you how to brew an all-grain batch using the Megapot 1.2. The first step of assembly, install the, the bulkhead and valve uh, in the lower hole on the kettle. First thing you do is take off the, the ball valve, and then unscrew the lock nut, and then remove one of the two O-rings. From there, you're gonna feed the bulkhead through the pot and out the other side. Replace the O-ring on the outside and then add the lock nut with the groove side towards the O-ring because the O-ring is gonna seat inside that groove. And you wanna just loosely hand tighten this so you don't torque or break the O-rings. And once you get it tightened down, you're gonna finish tightening it from the inside of the pot and then Screw your, your valve back on and tighten that. And you will notice it will be a little loose just because of the O-rings, but that should be fine. You want the O-rings to kind of seal up that hole. Um, the next step is the thermometer. Take the lock nut off the back and one of the O-rings and the next parts that should be on there, the, <clears throat> the washer should be the first thing on. Next would be the O-ring. Feed that through from the outside, placing the, the O-ring on the inside first, and then the, washer, <clears throat> the nut with the groove side towards the washer. And once you get it almost tight, make sure your thermometer is straight and then give it just a little extra tightening. And again, don't over tighten because you won't need it. Okay, so now that we have the ball valve and thermometer uh, installed in the kettle, uh, this is ready to go for your uh, boil kettle uh, or your hot liquor tank. Um, today, we're gonna use this one as a mash tun. Um, to do that, we're just gonna add our false bottom, um, perforated um, so that you can filter out the grain bed. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna drop it in at kind of an angle to get it underneath the thermometer probe and then just drop it straight down and it's all set. Okay, now that we have our mash tun all put together and if <clears throat> we filled it with our strike water and it's up to the temperature that we need it at, uh, we're gonna go ahead and add our grains. So now that we have the mash temperature that we want, uh, you can go ahead and <clears throat> add your lid, keep all the heat in there. And obviously with the, the thermometer, we can monitor the temperature without having to take the lid off continually to lose all that internal heat. Because you can heat the, the, the vessel itself with the triclad bottom, um, is you can actually do uh, multi-step mashes with direct fired heat. Um, so you can do uh, protein rests and uh, sacrification rests and mash outs just using um, the, the kettle and the burner um, by either recirculating or stirring uh, really well um, to get those more complex uh, <clears throat> mashing schedules to get um, you know, more out of the, the mashing process. So now our mash is all done um, <clears throat> and we're gonna go ahead and move into the uh, recirculation or the Vorloft stage. Um, so <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and remove our, our lid here and uh, thanks to the nice silicone handles, it's not hot at all. So you can just pull that off. <clears throat> and then we're gonna use the ball valve here and run it off slowly. Now well, maybe two to three quarts at a time and then recirculate it into the top of the mash, being careful to pour it in slowly and not disturb the, the grain bed. We're gonna set up our hot liquor tank, which we have up here. Um, it's just your sparge water at 170 degrees, and we're gonna hook up a hose with a, <clears throat> a siphon sprayer just to um, break up the flow of water into the thing so it doesn't um, <clears throat> disturb our grain bed. And then from the <clears throat> mash tun, we're gonna attach a hose that will run into our boil kettle. We're gonna start the sparge by slowly opening the hot liquor tank and start it at a slow kind of pace. 
while your sparge water is running into the top of your uh, mash tun, we're going to start the flow into the boil kettle at the same flow rate. And this is easily done with the ball valve on the mash tun on your Megapot 1.2. And you can go back and forth and adjust your sparge water and your, your mash tun flow so that they're even. Okay, we've emptied our mash tun into our boil kettle and got our pre-boil volume. It was easy to see with the graduation marks in the inside of the kettle. Also, less will boil off <clears throat> with the Megapot 1.2 because the kettle is taller and thinner than most other kettles. The Megapot 1.2, with all of its features, gives you the ability to control your mashes better and also to do more complex mashes so that you can brew the best beer possible.